stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Sorry, guys. I'm I'm a little worried. This dude's getting closer, and he's level 5 or level 3. We're not supposed to fight him until we're a higher level than he is. Hmm. You know what? I want to fight him. I'm going to try something, and it's probably a really stupid idea. But we're going to try it anyway. Because it's just what we do. Come on. Come on. Come on, Malaka. Which I'm sure is a swear word somehow. I mean, that's what they seem to use it for. Oh, gosh. You're so much faster than I thought you were. All right. Come along. Come along. I'm right here. Yep. Right here. Yep. The head of mine is worth a lot. It is true. I'll show you. We're just going to take him on a little merry adventure for right now. Oh, he's shooting at me. Come on, buddy. Come on. Alright, so... Essentially, I need to find a good place to... Oh, hello. Oh, still shooting at me, huh? A good place to fight him, and I'm going to basically Sparta kick him off the, uh, off the top of this thing. Or off of the top of a thing. I don't know if it's going to be this one specifically. Oh, that didn't feel good. I will lead to both of those things. How's the fall look from here? It doesn't look all that impressive, honestly. <laughs> well, we're going to keep going. But essentially, yes, I do want a Sparta kick, but I want to do something before we do that. Ah, uh, let's not go to the store. It is go to my abilities, and I want to change that. Can I... L3 is reset my abilities? Is that going to hurt me at all? No. Okay. I'd rather that actually be my, my down button. Oh, we get another one. Let's get the, the bull charge thing. Cause we gonna be a warrior. Go to mine now. Yeah. You think so? Hmm. All right. This this looks like it's got some promise. Keep chasing me. We now have wolves trying to do your dirty work for you. I feel like none of these places are. Steep enough for me to get a Sparta kick to doom off of them. This one's got some promise. Where you at, buddy? Oh, did I lose you? Because I'm too good for you? Hold on. Oh, you have a wolf. That's now being a nuisance. Uh-huh. Well, you know, you got a friend. Are you aware that you have a friend behind you? I feel like that's probably going to end up being a, a real, ow, real big problem. And done. And we just eliminated a guy that we shouldn't have been able to fight at all. Because we're amazing. Alright, puppy dog. I know you're not super thrilled with me. Turn down this bounty, Talos. Yeah, you should have. Well, that was painful and unsatisfying. Can we do it again? So I, I just sort of wrecked Talos. I, I'm not sure where he ended up at. I did punt him down here. And the punting worked well. So there you go, guys and gals. We got to do a This is Sparta moment. And it, it, was, it was good. It felt good. It felt right. Uh, the dude's body disappeared, though. I'm not sure exactly how I feel about that. Because, like, I punted him right off here. So his body should be directly beneath me. And it not. It not down there. And I don't know why. Is there a way to hang from the ledge or something? Nope. I'm just going to jump over and hurt myself. Well... I mean, other than the body disappearing, that was pretty sweet. As I imagine, we could have probably gotten some pretty sweet loot, some good swag off of him, but 
you know, whatever. I took care of one of the mercenaries. I am okay with these things. With this outcome, it is okay. So now if we take a look... Ta oops. Talos, the stone fist has been defeated. He looks sad. And we've moved up. We're slightly better than we once were in the old mercenary rankings. And I'm okay with that. And I'm okay with that. Alright, I'm sure there's a million quests that we should be doing right now. Also, I believe we're level 3 now, aren't we? So, technically, I have a different weapon that I can utilize. Oh, no, it's... Well, that one's level 5. That one looks real good. However, this one... What is this? The Harvester of Time. I did just get a bunch of DLC bonus stuff, or like... I, I don't know what it was uh, when I logged in, and I'm assuming that's what this is. But I'm not entirely positive. But right now, let's check out the uh, the Warhammer or whatever this thing is. It looks pretty sick, but it's going to be real, real slow on damage. Or attack speed, I, I would assume. And it just shows that we have a bow. Oops, sorry. There are a few other things that it says we have here. Okay, so we, uh, the cover... I mean, it looks like both of these are potentially something. One's an assassin, one's a warrior type item. So it looks like they gave us like a full set of armor. The Dusk Bindings times something another. The Band of the Dusk, Father Time. So yeah, it looks like they decided to give us some epic uh, equipment as part of a DLC bonus. Um, I might use it, I might not. I don't know that it's necessarily going to make, like, a massive difference. I mean, it looks like it will. I mean, it looks like it's going to be pretty good, but... I don't know that it's going to be a massive difference. Uh, we don't have any booties yet. Uh, our horse? Oh, we have an epic horse, too. We have epic Phobos skin. Uh, I don't think that changes anything. It just changes what he looks like. We will equip that. Because that looks pretty sick. And I am all about Phobos being awesome. We can craft arrows? Oh, I didn't even know we could do that. Oh, well, that's pretty sweet. Cool. Alright, so we're maxed out on arrows. Oh yeah, let's see how this new uh, weapon handles. Oh, it's quite slow. I bet it hurts, though. Isn't there a wolf over here somewhere? Let's go see if we can't find the, the wolf. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I feel pretty good. I mean, we... We kind of owned the living poo out of uh, the mercenary that was following me. I mean, yes, was it a cheap victory? Absolutely. Do I mind that I did a cheap victory on that one? Absolutely not. Well, I guess we're going to head back to town. I was hoping to find some wolves along the way. Alright, new Phobos. Where you at, buddy? Oh, you look sexy. Look how sexy he looks. Ella, let's go. Let's go, Phobos. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, we're going to track a quest. We have to talk to somebody. Didn't we talk to her and she would tell us about the bow and all that stuff? That we had to go get wood or something for her? Or maybe she gave us a bow. Maybe that's what fair it was. Fair is fair. Are you going to get my wood? Those fucking bandits need a thrashing. Uh, yeah, I'll stop the fair bandits. Fair. I'll fix your wood problem. Finally! Marco sure is lucky he's got you as a scapegoat. Uh, uh, where are the Any bandits? Any idea where these bandits are? I'm not a tracker, I'm a boyer. They're in the mountains somewhere, that much I know. I'd check close to the lumber camps. Hmm. There's plenty of trees around. Why do you need this type of wood? I've been working on a new type of bow. It's more flexible, so it lasts longer and can fire at greater range. Nice. Only a very special kind of wood that grows high in the mountains will do. Fair enough. All I'll right. take care of the bandits. Make sure that you do. And be quick about it. It's time to go bandit hunting. I'll deal with these bandits and get you the wood you need as fast as I can. Have patience. It won't take long. If you knew how long Marcos has been feeding me excuses, you wouldn't be saying that. All right, I did something for you. Now you do something for me. Get yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on my to-do list. Um, looks like there's another quest marker up there. 
Let's go check that out real quick, and then we'll return. Okay. Hello, priestess at Zeus's temple. Hello. Mighty Kefalus, I entreat you, send us a champion, someone worthy of your mighty spear. Help your priestess in her hour of need. Hi. Uh. You called? <gasps> oh, Cassandra, you startled me. Why are you looking for a champion? I need someone worthy to win the Spear of Kefalus. I've been deciphering some of the sanctuary stone carvings. They say the spear was hidden in the caves beneath Kefalonia when the temple was built. Huh. You could get it for me, couldn't you? I can give you a reward. Sure. If the spear is in the caves, I'll find it. Well, maybe you were sent by Kefalus. Okay, uh... Kefalus had a spear? Cassandra, surely you've heard this story since you were a child. I didn't have much time for stories. Well, perhaps you didn't. But you know Kefalus founded Kefalonia and started the line of Odysseus. His spear was a gift from the gods. It was said never to miss its target. Nice. He must have hidden it in the caves after killing his wife with it. Less he nice. He threw a spear that wouldn't miss at his wife? He was hunting and heard her in the bushes. He thought she was a deer. It's a sad story. Yeah, it is. Sounds dangerous. Well, only if you throw it at someone. Uh, okay. Why do you need a spear? Not thinking of becoming a soldier, are you? Of course not. But think how many people will come to the shrine if we have the Spear of Kefalus. With their donations, I could do so many things. Repair the sanctuary, feed the hungry families in Sami. Okay, fair enough. So, well. where is this spear? Apparently, it's hidden deep in the caves beneath Kefalonia. There's an entrance north of here. Maybe you can try that way first. That's not much to go on. You have so little faith in the gods. If Kefalus means for us to have the spear, you will find it. All right, well, sure. I'll see what I can find. Oh, thank you. Well, I'll to my to-do list. A spot in the sanctuary. Um, yeah, I know. I could call Icarus and we could do all this stuff. Uh, I'm a little bit busy getting wood for some other peeps. So, you know, when I get around to it, I'll go spear hunting in the caves. I feel like we are not wearing any pants. I am not wrong. Did I just see a Pegasus? I feel like I just saw a Pegasus. What what else have I done to myself? I know I didn't have a... I don't think I had any of the other stuff. Okay. Well, somehow I just ended up taking my pantalones off. Or... Whatever you would call it. Yeah, Come yeah, on. yeah. Close to my target. Nobody cares. Let's go! Come on, Phobos. Onward! I know you're in a town. Speed up. There we go. Apparently when you enter a town, you do slow down a little bit when you're mounted. So, just something to be aware of. Ooh, there's a wolf. How's this gonna work out? Ella. Got him. Oh, I give him loot from horseback? What? Oh, oh. Oh god, oh. That didn't feel good. Oh my goodness. This thing's amazing. Um. Nope. Wrong button. Bobos. I'm sorry. How, what? Hmm. Well, I, I, I gotta say, I wasn't expecting you to get there. But that's cool. Here's where the ambush happened. I should look around. Okay, so what's going on? Off we go now. Investigate the area. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's something here. Move. I, I think I have to be off my, my horse and yeah. horse. I feel like I can't check on stuff. Yeah, I gotta be able to interact with it. Well, that's a lot of footprints. A group left this area, headed west. Alright. A large group left toward the west of the lumber yard. The cart was emptied, then left behind. The thief can't have gotten far with that much cargo. 
All right. Oh, Shot she's dead, guy. Back while fleeing. Must be the work of bandits. Open your map to find your objective. All right. Where are we? We're here. Oh, yeah. This is kind of a cool thing. Let's see if I can see any of it. These little uh, things, apparently these are screenshots. I don't know exactly. I guess they took them and shared them. So if you want to see screenshots other people have taken, you can kind of go around and see that. I think that's kind of a neat little feature. So sometimes you might see something like there's a thing that's hidden and somebody might have, you know, might have that like highlighted or whatever in a, in a screenshot. I think that's, I think that's cool. I think that's kind of cool. Oh, uh, alright, I wanted Icarus to be doing something. Did I? Oh. Something's going on over there. That must be the bandit camp I'm looking for. Alright. Come back, Icarus. No need to mark everything for me, buddy. I want to find some stuff on my own. So, basically, and I, I told you guys this before. I think I did. Maybe I'm crazy. I know I did do a little bit of streaming of the game, so it's very possible that what's happening? What? Uh, maybe, maybe I accidentally bumped the, uh, the trigger button. Anyhow, um, maybe I told the stream, but essentially I'm going to be headbutting stuff to death with my face, so I'm going to be playing as a warrior. I may assassinate a person or two here and there, but generally speaking, I'm just going to go full-on insane, murder everything, and make them die a horrible death mode. Like, that's the plan moving forward, so... So just be aware of that. I should dodge the arrow. Oh, that didn't feel good. Oh, is that person on fire? I don't see the fire. Do you guys see the fire? I think I'm having some sort of glitch right now where the fire's not showing up. Oh, well, that's not good. It is a oh oh it just got punched in the face. It is a much slower way of doing battle. My turn. Hey, you like it? You want to shoot me with arrows? Huh? Think that's funny? Oh my goodness! Oh, I just brutalized that guy. All right. Well, you know. That, that worked out okay. I'm not real sure what the deal is with the fire. Like, the fire is real low. It may be part of my... Uh, the settings have reduced and I just don't see it as well. Or possibly it's daytime and it's just not quite as visible considering it is day. I'm not entirely certain. The person was on fire. I saw the, the icon that she was on fire. And she was definitely taking damage. But... That's about where it stopped. Didn't I knock somebody near the water or in the water? I feel like I did. By the way, you can go in water if, I, if you weren't aware. I hear like sonar. I I don't see the body anywhere. All right. Well, I tried. I tried. I'm not sure that I'll be using like big slow weapons the entire time, but it is kind of interesting, I'm not gonna lie. Oh dang. Oh my gosh. That old bag won't just take my word for it. What is wrong with you goats? Freaking weird goats, you see them just run in and then run off. Oh, my bird ate a goat. Well, that was that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. I just got a golden statue. I don't know about that. 
All right, there's a ton of stuff to loot every time you come to a little encampment or an area. Now, one of the things that I'm not entirely certain about, or maybe... I don't think I like it. I mean, it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, but when you enter an area that has, like, a lot of people that you have to do fighting and everything else, it tends to keep your horse from being able to actually show up in there. Which, again, is it's okay. Like, I get that part of it. Like, you can't call your horse to come pick you up out of this place. But once you clear it, I feel like it should clear itself automatically. Like, it should no longer be a dangerous area, so to speak. And unfortunately, it seems like it's if it's ever a dangerous area, it's always a dangerous area. I mean, I could be completely wrong, but I feel like, in my experience thus far, that is the thing. And that's one of the things I'm not a particularly big fan of. But again, that's a very small thing that's probably more me than anyone else. Like, I feel if you, you clear an area out of bandits, a warlord, or whatever is, is there at the time, and it's clear and safe, you should be able to bring your people anywhere, anytime, and not really have any issues. I'm noticing I am stuttering and lagging a little bit here. I don't think it's been that bad for the most of the video, and I'm not real sure what's causing it. Like I said, my settings have been down, and the video started off fine, so... I'll continue to keep an eye on it as we do more and more recordings and we go around and we do stuff. I need to find this final chest. It's it's ranging somewhere between... I saw it as low as like 29 FPS and now it's back up to 60. So I, I don't know. Somewhere between 29 and like 43 is where it was going. And now it's jumped all the way up to 60. And now it's sitting there strong. So I don't know. Maybe it just has a certain struggle with certain things that are going on. It's possible. Either way, hi, random dude who just happens to be in this place. Do you know where your other treasure chest is? I'm sure it's it's probably marked on the map. Hello? No, I don't think that is. Oh, it just says to return to... What's her name at this point? So, I guess maybe I got all the treasure. Um, I'm not going to go there just yet, though. Come here, Phobos. Onward. I, I, I don't care about a nearby road. Get up there. Anyhow, there's a lumber mill over here, and there's people at the lumber mill. And I, I'm not sure why it hasn't sent us here to, to deal with this. So there's some banditos, I believe, down yeah. over this way. And they are none too happy that we exist. But perhaps they'll send us here themselves Let's later, so we're not going to deal with that now either. I want to. I do. I really want to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to behave myself. I'm going to let them yeah. spoon feed me things. Because essentially what I did when I played around on the stream and even on my own, the little bit that I did play, I basically... Yeah. We're going to hop off of... Phobos here. Um, I basically did a lot of just free roaming, finding packs and little pockets of, of guys and stuff, and doing a lot of the murder. So it was it was all right. Right now we're gonna climb up top. I think we're gonna get our first. Um, well, that's somewhat far away. I think we're gonna get our first thing, our first uh, synchronization point. I think is what they call them. Like, remember, guys, it's been years. It's been years since I played. Any real amount of Assassin's Creed. Um, we could do that. Or we could go inside this cave. I mean, I don't really need Icarus to tell me there's a cave here, because I already kind of know. So, I'm not sure where the entrance is. It's probably just beneath me. Oh, that is a, that is a deep cave. Not somewhere I want to go right now. Unless it's, uh... I think I can dive in there? Probably. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, official temple business. Thank you. Yeah, well, considering how this is designed, I think we're gonna dive in there. Wish me luck! Well, I'm not dead, so I'm pretty happy with that. Some treasure loot there. Ooh, hunter's gloves. I am a fan. A bunch of other stuff. Bottomless lake taking the plunge. Everyone on the island thinks this is the deepest dive, but there's a lake on the coast of whatever that place is that is rumored to be bottomless. If you're able to dive as far as the woman in marble, 
you will be able to claim me. Apparently, there is a, a call to a different lake, I guess. How do I... Oh, I can swing underwater. Um, I thought there was a... I thought there was a way to sprout. There it is. Swim faster. All right. Well, we need to get up and out of this water. It is rather dark in here. I think my computer just has little little fits of uh, not wanting to work right because even with the water effect and all the lighting and everything else, it's staying solid at sixty. Just for a little bit there, it's just like nah, nah. I don't think so. All right, let's go under and see what's going on now. I'm very nervous being underwater. I hope you guys know this. I am not a semi-aquatic person or a fully aquatic person, but we're exploring the area, and I guess that's okay. From what I can tell, I haven't missed anything yet. My oxygen is getting a little bit on the light side of things. But... I will loot that and swim up and... Bob's your uncle. What's going on? Why are we here? Our torch is not available. and Icarus is not available. Oh, but there's something going on over here. A little bit deeper in. Ah. Well, that was super fun times. I am going to sneak in here. I'm not necessarily going to do a lot of assassinating. But I feel like we could at least... Maybe maybe we'll pick one or two people off. Like, I'm a warrior. Warriors can be quiet. They don't always have to headbutt everything. I should watch my step around here. I mean, only mostly headbutt stuff. Alright, I should watch my step. I imagine I'm going to walk right into some people. Oh, yep, there's a person. All right, boys. I'm doomed. You are doomed. Get wrecked. All right, that felt pretty good. I'm not exactly sure what I did to uh, upset them, but that's okay. We got some. Uh... Oh, we actually found the spear of uh, Kel Kefalos, whatever the person's name is. I totally remember exactly and precisely what it was called. Alright. We're out of time for the episode, but I don't want to stop. I'm having fun. We got some new, new new gauntlet things. Look, we just got gauntlets and then better gauntlets. Oh, but this is for assassins. So actually, technically, these are better gauntlets for me. Which I can live with. Uh, we got better pants. For a hunter, I mean, it doesn't really change anything, so I might as well do it. Right now, we're just looking at basically at armor at this point. Um, well, this increases hunter damage. Do I have something that increases not hunter damage? Warrior damage, uh, assassin damage. This is a spear? Oh, it is a spear. Okay. Well, for now, we're going to use the heavy blunt weapon that we have. Because it just feels right. Well, I'm sure there's more places to go and more loot to be had. So we'll continue to walk around and, and loot this place. We may end up breaking off the episode and continuing our looting process in the future here. So how does this work by the swing? Oh, I swing the torch. That's weird and interesting. And I don't hate it, but it's weird and interesting. Okay, there's definitely something going on over there. And I saw, yeah, say I saw some ore over here. There we go. Hmm. It's all very interesting, to say the least. There's actually quite a bit of ore just glowing off in the, the edges here. My goodness, it's 
this one's got the upper body strength of a gorilla. Jeez. Ow. Her shins probably don't feel very good after that. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is going to be the spot where we break off the episode. I'm actually going to get over to where that other torch is, and then that's going to be where I actually break it off. Okay. Well, before I do that, I'm very curious as to what in the world these things are here for. There's just vines just chilling up in the... Really? That's weird. I mean, I don't hate it, but it's still weird. Alright, hold on, we gotta fight first. Oh, he definitely on fire now. Oh, wait, I thought I was too for a second. There. How's that feel, buddy? I, I thought there was a way to throw my weapon. I'm burning. Help! No, I'm not gonna help you. Well, he had a real bad day. That's cool. I like the. I love the fact that you can fight with the torch. All right. Sorry about that, guys and gals. I, I just I had to see it for myself. I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, I can swing my torch. That's cool. Anyhow, we're going to crawl through that little opening and continue on our adventure in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and, well, stick around the channel. There'll be plenty more to come. This is another one of those games that I can just play, and I absolutely love it. And, you know, each and every day I look forward to hopping in and doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of Assassin's Creed. It's good stuff. All right, folks, until the very next episode, I'm Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>